Howdy everyone, Old School Game Collector here, and this is an unboxing and my early impressions of Radiant Historia for the Nintendo 3DS. All right, so I want you to know that I have already opened this. I'm about two and a half hours into the game already and uh, very much enjoying it, but I put all the pieces back together so we could uh, just unbox it so you can see what's inside. This is the launch edition, so it has a couple, couple goodies built in, and I honestly, I had to hunt pretty <laughs> far and wide for this in Houston because I didn't pre-order it, and which is not that abnormal for me. What really did it for me, like buying this game, was just seeing the hype. I actually kind of went under my radar, but I saw a bunch of people writing about it and blogging about it, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give it a try. So I actually had no preconceived notions whatsoever. I didn't even know the gameplay, the story, I knew nothing, but the truth is for me, Atlas can make a game and I'm probably gonna like it because I just think they do a killer job. So, all right, so this is kind of um, the way that this looks. I'm gonna kind of switch between iPhone and uh, camera footage, so hopefully that looks okay. I've never done it before, but I figured I would try it. All right, so this is the main box. It, uh, it looks super, super clean, super nice. Um, but yeah, let's dive in. I, I learned the hard way the first time that I had to open it from the bottom. So, uh, as you would expect, uh, the first thing in here is the main box. And it looks great. But here's the deal. This front cover art, I have no idea who made it. But whoever did absolutely killed it. It looks so good. And what you're looking at, kind of those staircases in the background, uh, is Historia. It's the kind of the hub in the world that you will go to when you're kind of traveling between uh, different times. A akin to a Chrono Trigger, this is definitely definitely different though. It has a has a different feel. So uh, inside, obviously, uh, quite. Simply just the, the game cartridge, super simple, super clean. And because games are boring now and don't come with instruction manuals, which is super lame, thank you Nintendo Switch, especially you independent developers who are doing that a little bit more like games like The Binding of Isaac. That includes some cool stuff because you all remember the days, you know, where you would be going home from the store with your family and you're in the back seat and opening up the manual in a lot of ways was just as exciting. Remember like seeing the enemies and the bosses and a lot of times it would have like the last boss of the game was a, like a question mark. It, it wouldn't actually tell you uh, who it was or let you see who it was. And I don't know, I just miss the, I miss the days of yesteryear and how, how fun that was. All right, so what else is in here? Cool, it comes with an art book, which it should because the art in this game so far is uh, what stands out. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's no denying that. Even the even the small sprites in the game are just you know. There's probably uh, probably the best word for them is cute. They just look cute. Um, I think sometimes the bigger version of them in the game, when uh, you're having dialogue when they show up, it kind of sometimes can take me out of uh, how beautiful I think like the sprite work and. Uh, the main game itself uh, looks as you're playing it for the most part, like in combat and stuff, it's it's those small sprites which looks uh, gorgeous and beautiful and gosh, just look at that. So yeah, it comes, with, uh, it comes with an art book. And then last but not least, it comes with a sticker sheet. And I am a sticker fan. Um, I, don't, I don't like use them for a whole lot. So yeah, I mean, you know, they're cool to have. I'll, I'll probably, probably not use them for much, but it's always, it's always nice to get extra goodies, especially when the launch edition was the exact same price as the game. So I figured I could at least uh, boot this up and, and show you a little bit of maybe even just the, the launch screen and the title screen so you could see this. But I want you to know that, um, you know, the, the gameplay so far has been super fun. It's my early impressions. I've really enjoyed, uh, I've enjoyed uh, especially the uh, the combat system, um, it kind of works on uh, on a grid, which is a little difficult to explain. But 
Uh, there's there's a grid. I, I think there's m maybe nine nine grids, and enemies can be um, kind of interspersed throughout those grids. And part of your attacks, which are really really cool, is that you can hit your enemy into other parts of the grid. And if they end up on top of another enemy, then you can do uh, more hits on that grid, and it'll hit multiple enemies. It boosts your combo, and as your combo uh, increases. Uh, you get more experience points at the end of the fight. So as you can see, I'm about two hours and 22 minutes into the game. So, but yeah, this is kind of like the the sprites I was talking about. This is the majority of what the game looks like, and um, taking an elevator down. But and then the bottom is typically a map. So just to kind of give you the the full scope of the whole thing, you have the map on the bottom. You have the sprites, kind of what's going on down below. So uh, yeah, I really dig the gameplay. The other thing that I would point out before um, you know, before I head out of this just quick kind of impressions video is that uh, if you are not a JRPG fan at all, uh, you're not gonna like this game. You just won't. I mean, it is about as JRPG as you can get, especially uh, the the story. So. I've played apparently two hours and 22 minutes. I am not exaggerating when I tell you that two hours out of that two hours and 22 minutes has probably been story and dialogue. Uh, I've I just now kind of made it to a place where I can uh, venture out, but even then I ventured out my first uh, venture, I apparently made the wrong decision and then had to go back in time. So now I'm back at the, the hub where there was a lot of story. I've got to go back to this place to change uh, history to make sure that uh, the world is not destroyed essentially. So if you don't like a lot of story and you don't like a lot of dialogue, you're not gonna like Radiant Historia. I love those things. I really dig RPGs. It's my favorite genre of game. It has been since I was a little kid. I'll never forget the first time I played Final Fantasy in my mind just being absolutely blown. So uh, I'm really digging the game so far. That's what comes included, the art book of the game. It comes with stickers. And uh, on top of all of that, I may even just display the box because the box art is that incredibly beautiful and I think the game is as well. So I hope you enjoy it. Hope you all have a great day and happy gaming.